In the last video, we went over the new features from iOS 16 that we'd like to see on Android, which you can check out by clicking the little eye up in the corner. But this time, we're turning the tables, flipping the coin, or whatever two-sided metaphor works for you. I'm Harley Morano with Android Authority, and in this video, we're gonna go over six iOS 16 features that Apple swiped from Android. First on the list is live captions which allows for real-time transcription of conversations, audio-video content, and even FaceTime calls. Now, if this seems familiar to you, it's because Google actually launched its own live caption feature back in 2019, which uses on-device machine learning to transcribe phone calls, video calls, and even audio messages. And if you wanna know more, we've got a full article detailing Android's live caption feature on androidauthority.com. Although Apple is kinda late to the live caption party, it is nice to see both platforms finally offer this really useful accessibility feature. Second on the list is lock screen widgets. In Apple's case, they have finally decided to introduce lock screen widgets with iOS 16, giving you quick access to info like weather, events, time zones, and even alarms. But here's the thing. Lock screen widgets were first introduced to Android as far back as 2012, with the arrival of Android 4.2. And this allowed you to add elements like a clock or a calendar to the lock screen. However, when Android 5.0 was released, it almost completely removed this feature. Now sure, there are ways to get lock screen widgets on Android if you really want it. And even Samsung's One UI still offers a predetermined selection of widgets. Although lock screen widgets aren't really as commonplace on Android as it once was. With iOS 16, Apple now allows you to share your photo and video library with up to five people. And the shared people can even add their own photos and videos to the library. And while this feature is a nice addition to iOS 16, it's been a staple of Android for a while now via Google Photos. Google's service offers similar features to Apple, allowing you to share albums with loved ones and letting them add their own photos to the collections. Google Photos will even add photos to an album based on the face that appears in the photo, and it even suggests context for sharing based on who appears in the photo. iOS 16 is also introducing Translate Camera functionality through its Translate app, allowing you to point your camera at a piece of text to get translations. Now this must sound very familiar to Android users, and that's because this has been around for years on Android via the Google Translate app. With Google Translate, when you point your phone at a piece of text, the translation is overlaid into a live viewfinder. On the other hand, Apple's go at the feature is a little limited, as it first takes a photo, then overlays the translation onto the captured image. Taking a short break from iOS 16, iPadOS 16 is now introducing resizable app windows. Now let's be honest, this isn't anything groundbreaking, especially because Samsung has had this functionality for a while now. The company has long offered resizable overlapping app windows on its tablets, especially when using Samsung DeX. It is worth noting that some apps can't actually be resized with DeX, so here's hoping that Android app developers continue to build support for the feature. To round off the list, Apple has also announced the ability to schedule and undo outgoing mail in the Mail app. Email scheduling is extremely useful if you don't want to come across as that person who sends emails at three in the morning. Meanwhile, the undo function is actually really useful if you realize that you just sent a typo or, you know, forgot to attach that document you meant to send with the email. Gmail has had this feature for a long time now, and it's been available on Gmail for Android, PC, and iOS for years. In fact, undo sending was first announced as an experimental feature back in 2009. Still, for Apple, better late than never. But what do you guys think? Are there any iOS 16 features taken from Android that we missed? Make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you're down there, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload next. For the latest and greatest in tech, be sure to visit us at androidauthority.com. I'm Harley Moranen, and I'll see you in the next video.